If you're willing to go beast mode, you can have whatever you want. I'm going to live an example. You can start from nothing. Start with nothing, high school dropout. Start with nothing, homeless. 12 years to get a four-year degree from the university. Start with nothing if you are willing to grind. There are two ways to be successful, right? And I don't subscribe to the first one. That's just natural talent. I, and I just don't believe people who are naturally talented are better than me. I, I believe effort, and you've heard me say it, your mama might come from privilege. Your daddy might come from privilege. Your daddy might own a company. You might have a father that can give you everything your little heart desires, but you will not outwork me. The bigger the dream, the harder the grind. I'm grinding harder now than I've ever grinded before. You will not quit in the universe. You will keep going in your business. You may lose, but you will not stop. You will not quit. You will keep going. Stop accepting everything. Stop letting people tell you what you can and cannot do. You are not able to activate your greatness because every time a trial or tribulation comes, you fall. You give up. Every time somebody calls you and tells you you can't do it, you take it personal. Every time somebody tells you you don't have what it takes, you embrace it, and now you gotta stand up to it. There are three types of people. They're average, they're good, they're great. Now the average didn't have to activate anything to be average. Average just it comes with the body. When you're born, average just comes as a part of your package. Right? Everybody starts there, average. Then you go from average, activate good, and then you activate great. Michael Jordan was considered one of the greatest NBA players that ever played the game. Why? Because he had more championship than anybody in this particular era. Great. It does not take a lot to be great. It just means that you do a little bit more than the average person that you are around. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. If you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You've got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you will have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. It's not about where you come from. It's about heart. You come to a place where, you know, being smart ain't enough. You gotta have heart. The most important thing is this, to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. Some of you, you focus into the phone ring and then you're like, I gotta answer it. If I don't answer the phone, I'm gonna die. There are some of you, if you give up your cell phone, you would be successful. The time you spend on your cell phone could be used for your success. The time you could be using to be successful, you're using it on the cell. And the cell phone is not bringing you nothing but a bill. I don't do well in math. You're right. You ain't never studied. I'm not good in writing because you have never written before. But I dare you to fail in writing for a whole year to see if you can get to the end. I dare you to take that same class over and over again. I dare you to stop dropping classes. is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year, but eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. And the problem with most of you, you never felt no pain before. Every time you ever got in trouble, somebody in your house got you out of it. Every time you've done something you're not supposed to do, people say, Eric, your mother's a tyrant. You're right. She kicked me out. You're right. She's mean, but she developed a man because she put me out there and said, you're going to have to grow up. And some of you have never learned to grow up.
And so every time something get hard, you quit, you call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. At the end of pain is success. My greatest asset is I was homeless. So I can't feel a whole lot of pain. I've already been alone. Not a whole lot of hurt I can feel. I'm exactly where I wanted to be because I realized I got to commit my very being to this thing. I got to breathe it, I got to eat it, I got to sleep it. And until you get there, you'll never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours. So work hard and you can have whatever it is you want. A true hunter is wired differently. He's wired differently. When a lion sees a gazelle and the gazelle sees the lion, both beasts see each other at the exact same time. When the gazelle sees the lion because of how he's wired, he automatically, fear takes over. When the lion sees the gazelle, he lights up. It's showtime. The hunt is on. This is what I was made for. Right, for real, there's some of you, there are opportunities that you're like, it's too difficult, it's too hard, nobody can do it. You're not wired properly. A lion welcomes the challenge. As a matter of fact, they don't get excited unless it is a challenge. They're wired differently. Lost five aunts to cancer in the last six years. I lost two last year. Not even a year ago, went to the doctor's office with my wife. Physician comes in, puts up the x-ray, shows my wife, points to the brain, said, we found seven legions on your brain. My wife looked at the doctor, the doctor looked at my wife, my wife looked at me. I'm like, I don't have, four, I don't have seven legions on my brain. Why is my wife looking at me? Because she's like, you a lion. You're going to be able to tell me if I can get through this or not. So the disease didn't bother her, but the fact that you can't hunt anymore, that bothered her. She kind of looks at me like, okay, this is terrible. We've been together since we were 16. You've helped me to get out of everything. What now? I said, we can, we will, we must. We got a son graduating from college. You need to be there. We got a daughter that's going to finish high school in two years. You need to be there. You can get through this. Oh, I'm wired differently. I didn't start crying. I didn't say, why me? Why my wife? I'm doing good to the world. I'm not hurting anybody. Why me? I'm wired differently. Lions don't cry. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions hunt. That's what we do for a living. When I was 18 years old, I act like that. When I was 21, I act like that. I'm 49 now. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I behaved like a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish thing. Cut it off. Cut your boss off. Your wife needs you. Bump your boss. Your boss don't run you. Your boss don't care about your wife and your kids. You care about your wife and kids. Do what you're supposed to do. You ain't no boy no more. You don't need their approval. You talented enough. God made you. Winners win and losers lose. I can't explain it any better than that. I don't know how it happens, but winners win. And if you create a culture of losing, if you keep being a victim, if you keep letting losing happen to you, if you keep letting people do you and treat you any kind of way, it's gonna become a culture. Stop being a victim. I stopped saying, I've gotta wait for good things to happen to me. And I said, I'm gonna grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press toward. I'm going to learn. Every single day, I'm going to do everything in my power to become a victor and not a victim get from being a loser, low self-esteem, doubt, and fear. And if you can find your way on this side, guys, it's sweeter on this side. We want people to make guarantees to us, but we're not willing to make guarantees to ourselves. If somebody gave you a 30-day guarantee, in 30 days, if you don't make what they told you was gonna make, in 30 days, you got an attitude, you want your money back. But you've never demanded your money back from yourself. You've never looked at yourself in the mirror and said, you let you down. Until you get to that point, you let you down. You're not brave enough. You want to put it on somebody else. The reason why I'm not successful is because of my boss. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and said, I'm not getting up on time. I'm not going to work on time. I'm not putting in 120% when I'm at work. I let me down. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts, no more alcohol. Not right now. Not no, I can't handle it right now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. I want you to spend all your energy on overcoming your weaknesses because behind every weakness you overcome is another level of success.